Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to do a little tag and I'm also going to show you a couple of videos. We'll go to the videos first and in the videos you're going to see me let the chickens out in the morning. You're going to see a little walk around the yard. You're going to see the bluebird box again and today there are six eggs. I didn't notice it when I when I was in the box, but when I was reviewing the video, I noticed there are now six eggs. So the, the bluebird will probably start to sit on her eggs now because they have anywhere between four and six eggs. And then it takes 12 to 14 days for them to come to hatch. So she probably will start sitting on them today, I would think, since there's six eggs there. And so they should hatch either the 30th of of May or the 1st of June. So we'll kind of keep a watch and so maybe we can catch when they've been hatched. And then they stay in the nest how long? 12? 20 days. 20, 20 days. 20, yeah, and then they, they fly away. So you're supposed to be very careful when you're checking them when they're almost ready to fly because you don't yeah. want them to... After day 12 or 13, you don't really check them. You're not supposed to check them? Well, I have checked them, unfortunately. Well, you can check, but you have to be very, very careful because they could jump or and fly, fly out. out. So I don't want them to do that. Okay, girls. Good morning. I know you went out. We're coming out. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. There you go. A few days ago, Jim mentioned that the flowering crab was in bloom. And I thought I'd better come out and get some pretty footage of it before they disappear. Look at this, how beautiful. This is our flowering crab trees. We have three of them here, and we have one on top of the hill. And they were put here by our village. We'll knock on the box. Oh, this isn't the right box. Oh, yes it is. Whoa. The bird just flew out. That's why you knock, because I want to make sure nobody's home. Otherwise, you go to open the hole and they'll be flying in your face. And there's still just eggs. I don't know what the gestation is for bluebirds. There we go. And we'll go over here and check on this one. This one was empty last I knew. Pretty sure it's still empty. Oh yeah, this one's empty. I like the way this one opens better from the bottom. This is the flowering quince, ornamental quince, and it's getting towards the end, but it's got some flowers in it still. So spring is here, and I'm wearing three-quarter length sleeves today, not a turtleneck, so it's pretty warm out. It's very nice, in fact. It's about time. We've had it so cold for so long. Well, the winter was good, but it's still cold weather and you had to put something on to go outside. This is nice to be able to walk outside and not have to put anything on. And over here are my hostas. I had moved these here because they were getting sunburned over on the other side and they're gonna fill in. And my daylilies will be coming up and whatever other flowers are in here. They're bulbs that are supposed to be pulled up, but we never pull them up. And this is a white rock. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I think I'll bring that in. I'll wash it. It's Oh, it's broken on this side, but I'm still going to bring it in because it'll lay flat. I'll bring it in. More junk, but it's kind of pretty. Oh, there's another white rock. Where'd these white rocks come from? This one's got some green some crazing through it. It's pretty though. I think I'll bring this one in too. We'll bring two rocks in. Okay, now the, the questions I'm supposed to answer today, there's 10 of them. And I was tagged by Vicki Marie, Living Life. And I was also tagged by Keto Marnie, the Keto Crocheter. So, um, Vicki, Marie, and Marna, this, this tag was 
I was tagged by both of you. And I'm going to call it because it's supposed to be about this whole business out in the world, how it's affected me. And I'm going to give it a name. I couldn't remember what color. I think it was green, but I'm going to change it to the blue booger. And we're going to call this because I liked, I actually had a commenter that mentioned the blue booger. And I says, oh, that kind of gave me a chuckle. So now it's called the blue booger. So if you've got the blue booger, I'm sorry. I hope you don't. None of us will get that. Okay, the first question is, how many rolls of toilet paper do I have? Well, I did an estimate. I didn't actually count. I have approximately 36 rolls. And I think there's a couple in the camper. But they're specialty paper that you buy when you go to the camping section. And they've been in there ever since we bought the camper. And we got the camper in 2000 and. Two, I think we got it. It's a 2003 camper, but I think we got it the year before. Yeah. So, how many rolls do you normally have in stock? I have probably that much or more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm one that always. We have three bathrooms in the house, and well, two and a half, two full and one half. And I like to keep. I like to have a package of 24 for each bathroom except for the the one on this side of the house because this one I just kind of um I keep one on the back of the toilet and I keep one in the bottom of the cupboard and I keep one on the roll so there's usually just three in there at one time but I do have the extras in another spot just to make sure I never run out okay what has been the biggest change since you since the lockdown um the biggest change since the blue booger. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. There's not been really any change other than I noticed that people are wearing masks, which is I'm a big Less friendly than big even change. before. Yeah. You know, we live in an area where the, the people are not friendly like down south. Down south, you walk by somebody and they're saying hi or they're opening the door for you. Up here, it's very rare to find um polite people or even friendlier people and where are you currently parked or docked now if you're talking about me I'm docked in my house if you're talking about my camper it's docked in my one of my barns um, but I'm here at home and what have you done without with gone without recently I haven't gone without anything I if, you, if you're talking the blue booger, nothing. If you're talking keto, I've gone out without a lot of good carbs. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, <laughs> what are the most, what am I most grateful for? I'm grateful that nobody in my family has caught the blue booger. And we've been very healthy too. And my, my chickens and my dog has been healthy, which just make me, makes me happy because when, I, when they're ill, you don't you worry about them because you can't really tell what's wrong because they can't tell you you have to just kind of watch them but that's what I guess I'm grateful for and what do you miss most I don't know I don't miss anything I guess I don't know what do I miss most nothing I suppose and now how long has it been since you've been at a campsite well I went to Camp Vention the year that Emily ran for Teen Queen, that was a campsite we were at. And we went to a campsite when we went to Florida with the, to visit my Aunt Rosemary. Hi, Aunt Rosemary. Hi, Uncle Mike. Hope, hope Uncle Mike is better. He was not feeling very well there a while back. I should give her a call. Well, I will call you. But um, hopefully she's... And when we went there, um, which this brings me because I'm talking about Aunt Uncle Mike and Aunt Rosemary. Well, I'll save that for the end. I was going to tell about Bob, but don't let me forget. Okay. What's your favorite quarantine food? I don't have a favorite quarantine food. What do I have as a favorite food? Food? Everybody knows I like my pastas. Yes, but that's not a quarantine food. I don't eat any unless I'm being really bad. <laughs> And bad means I've eaten carbs that you're not supposed to eat, which uh, you can eat them, but if you wish to be on low carb, you shouldn't eat them. 
So that's my, I guess, I don't have any favorite food. And how are you ex exercising during these workouts? What did I say I was doing? Mm. Oh, the typing a lot. Are, my fingers, fingers are getting, getting all the exercise because yeah. I'm typing a lot lately. You know, my speed has probably gone up, but I still type words backwards, so that wouldn't be good. And I do a lot of clicking on the uh, delete, 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 or backspace, 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 because I look at it and I go, oh, that word is supposed to be not spelled like that. Because I do have a tendency to, to my brain, I guess my fingers work faster than my brain, and my brain works faster than my mouth, and my mouth works faster than I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, who are you challenging next? Oh, I forgot the bowl. I'll have to go get it. Hold on. Okay. I forgot the bowl. I... I'm going to, I'm supposed to choose five people. Let me shut the door. I didn't shut the door. Whoa, I just blew a paper somewhere. That's why it was on the floor. Yeah, that's the probably other how day. it got on the floor. Okay, here. Okay, I forgot the bowl. And if I don't shut the door, then you'll hear an echo. And I don't want you to hear an echo. Okay. And the reason I going to use the bowl is I don't know who's done this tag and who hasn't done this tag and if I draw your name and you've done the tag don't worry about it just don't do it if you don't feel like it or if you want to do it again do it again okay or if you're not drawn and you want to do it go ahead go ahead that's right anybody can do this I have this bowl and the bowl has got the people's names of the people that were not drawn on the last tags I've got the whole batch of tags in a, another bowl to, so that I know which tags I've done and who I and I and what I do is I take this little piece of paper that I'm going to draw which here's one I clip it to this one so I know here's two here's three here's four and here's the last lucky soul whoops there's two there five okay here you can take the bowl take Vanna will take the bowl okay who did I Okay, Carnal Mad is the first one. That would be Mike, Mike, if he wishes to do it. Brian Loses Hill Homestead, that's Brian. Hey, nephew Brian, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked if I'm really his aunt. Well, I'll let him answer that. But we do have a nephew Brian. I do have a nephew, and then, okay, this is Contentment. E. Chip and Robber. I guess you were chosen. Hmm. And Life with Mike. That's Michael. And Anne's Tiny Life. I think Anne may have done it. I'm not sure. But Anne's Tiny Life is the other fifth one that was chosen. So if you would like to do this, you're more than welcome. If you don't feel like it, that's okay too. And if you didn't get chosen, you can go right ahead and do it anyways. I will put the questions in the more section so you can see them. So it was Carnal Mad, Brian Luzen, Luce Hill Homestead. I just call him Brian. Brian Luce Hill Homestead. Contentment, that's E. Chip and Robber. Life with Mike, that's Michael. And Anne's Tiny Life, and that's Anne. Okay, those are the ones that I did. And then the bonus question is, what will you buy? What well, your what we what was or will be your blue booger <laughs> panic purchase? <laughs> it gives me a tickle every time I say it. Um, you know, I'm not planning on purchases that pur purchasing anything, but you know what? They talk about everybody getting a stimulus check. I haven't gotten mine. And my daughter got hers the other day, but it was so mangled. Makes you wonder, did mine get mangled and ripped up? And or is it somewhere stuck in mail? And maybe 50 years from now, that check will roll in or something. You wonder. And who would you contact if you don't get it? Wasn't even supposed to be as a check. check. It wasn't. Yeah, they were supposed to deposit it. If you filed taxes, it was supposed to go into your bank accounts. And it hasn't gone there either. Now, my daughter's 
should have gone into her bank account and it came in the mail and it was really bad. In fact, the, the mail people, you know how they put it in another little thing saying that they're sorry about the, the, um, the damage. damage done to your parcel. Well, she's lucky she got it. Ours hasn't showed up. Okay. Now, I want to also bring to, the others have asked me how Bob has been doing. Well, Bob was doing terrible. Then he was doing good. And now he's not doing so good anymore. He's back in the hospital. So, uh, for all of you that like to, um, could like to pray or could pray or don't don't even know my friend Bob. Bob is Bob is Mountain Crest Farms. I know you don't. Uh, some of you know him and some of you don't. He's another YouTuber and he had um, cancer of the liver and he had surgery and he's had a rough time. It's a real rough time and he really could use some some loving care in your thoughts and in your prayers and just keep him in your mind. You know what my mother used to say? Now, this is what my mom said. And my mom was a very religious lady. She wanted to be a nun. And that's why she sent me to the convent. <laughs> but anyways, she used to say, if you're washing dishes, toss that up as a prayer. Or if you're sweeping the floor, toss that up as a prayer. And have that prayer donated or, or said for or said in my memory of or in mind of someone. And let it be Bob. Or if you're just walking down the street or you're driving in the car, toss that activity as a prayer. Anything you do in the day, as you could just say, all my tasks of today, I'd like to keep Bob in my, my mind. And then that will be his little, your little way of praying. If you, if you don't pray, pray. Pray, pray. Yes, I pray. No, it's cray, cray. <laughs> Or something. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and when you see the bluebird nest, did I say this already? That there's six eggs instead of five? I did say yeah, that. I think you did say that. Yeah, yeah, I was surprised there was six eggs today. And I didn't notice it when I put the camera in there because I just kind of put the camera in real quick and move out real quick because when I opened the door, before I opened the door, the mother flew out or the father flew out. One of them flew out. And that kind of startled me a little bit. But that's why you knock on them. You don't want them to fly into your face. That would hurt. Their beaks are hard as rocks. And you'd knock them out. <laughs> or they'd knock you out. I don't know which. Well, I think that was... Oh, and there was that everything I wanted to, I wrote a little bit at the bottom um, about purchasing and out signing and scribble sign. Um... Oh, that was concerning that check or something. No. What was I talking about? Whereas when you go to the store and they want you to sign, you could have Joe Blow's card and they couldn't wouldn't care because you just, uh, it's an electronical sign. You just push and it's electronic signed. Not good. One time I went to a store. It was um, Best Harbor, Buy. Harbor Freight. No, it was Best Buy too. Yeah. I signed my name too nice and Harbor Freight also. When I signed my name, it didn't like my name, so I had to scribble. It took my scribble, but it wouldn't take my signature. And the other thing was lost in the mail, the stimulus check, yes. So, I'm hoping that, I don't know what, I forgot what I was saying. Purchasing without signing or scribble signing. Maybe somebody stole the check. And oh, could they, yeah, maybe that's what I was thinking. Could they it. do that? I have no idea. I don't know. They could deposit it for deposit only, but does the bank even, it's got my name on it and your name on it. Yeah. Shouldn't be able to put it in their account without me saying pay to the order of, <laughs> unless they write pay to the order of and then do some phony baloney. I don't know. But anyways, I hope it's not lost in the mail. I hope it's not whatever. If it's supposed to come, it's supposed to come. If it's not, and I hope we don't have to pay taxes on it because I won't pay taxes on something I don't receive. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. All right. You're not supposed to pay tax on any of it. But. I hope not. But I know my taxes will go up because of this, definitely. And I'm hoping that because we're in phase one, the building inspector can go look at that house. That would be nice, and then that could be 
taken off my hands. That would be nice. It would be yeah. nice, because then I wouldn't have to mow that lawn. Yeah, I know. That's so to say. Then you just have the other house to mow. Unless Emily gets ambitious and moves. I don't think that's going to happen either. But, I, okay. Well, I guess we're done. Uh, did I say where I was going to put those videos in? Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, you, did I? Yeah, you were going to put them right in the beginning. Oh, the, I hope you enjoyed them. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they're in there somewhere. Alrighty. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.